What is going on? I am OS and today I literally woke up to the version 1 launch of Remix. Remix is a new React framework of sorts and it is generally uh, kindly only built for server-side rendered websites. So let's dive deep and see what it feels like. Uh, I, I think Mike, uh, Ryan and Ken has done an awesome job on this landing page, which I am really, you know, uh, excited to show you today, right now. Let's dive deep. So focused on web fundamentals and modern user experience, which will allow you to build better websites. Makes sense, right? Uh, let's go here. While you're waiting for your static site to build, distributed, distributed web infrastructure got really good. And they are asking us to break through the static. Let, let's see what is in there. And I, I, I come from a background where I used to, you know, do a lot of PHP code uh, way back then. And I got a lot of that vibe from Remix. And let me show you how. So Remix has a cheat code, nested routes, right? And look at that awesome animation. Websites really have levels of navigations that control child views, right? So here's a child view, a root JS file, and a user JSON fetching the data, right? And then when I scroll down, there's the sales route, uh, you know, nested route, and the sales component for that particular, you know, React component for that particular website. And then the invoices component. And finally, the, you know, singular invoice ID JSON and singular invoice ID for this particular invoice, right? Uh, and there are also semantic boundaries of data loading and code splitting. Um, I tend to agree, right? However, yeah, hover over and figure out uh, if this is the root component. Let me see root sales invoices and the invoice component, right? So I think through nested routes, Remix can emula emulate, uh, eliminate if only I can speak that word right, eliminate nearly every loading state. And how they do it is that they are able to request waterfalls, uh, request all of these components in parallel, as you can see here. So without Remix is on the left and with Remix is on the right. So look at what is happening here. The document is loading, the root JS on the left side, and all of the components, as you can see with Remix, got loaded at the same time in parallel. Root.js, sales.js, invoices, and invoice, right? So this is pretty cool. And I, I, I really like, uh, you know, uh, the animation here. It's, it's super amazing, right? Yeah, makes sense. Okay. Okay, diving deep. Uh, say goodbye to spinners. Okay, makes sense. Nested routes allow Remix to make your app as fast as an instant. Remix can prefetch everything in the parallel. So as I hover over all of these links, it's going to prefetch all of the data, public data, user data, modules, like even CSS. And that is what they are showing here. Invoice.css was also loaded here. It's pretty amazing, right? I'm actually quite excited to try out Remix for the first time. I won't lie, I haven't tried it. But, uh, you know, the framework looks really good. Data loading, you ever notice most of the code in your app is for changing data? Resilient, progressively enhanced data updates are built in. So this is, this is one thing that I'm super excited about. Look, look, this is, this is what I was talking about. Coming from PHP and handling your, you know, your phone data uh, in React app has been super, super messy. But this is amazing. So see, look, this is a regular form component, you know, the basic native web form component. It has a method of post and it is defined, you know, the name is company amount and you know, there's a submit button right there. So what Remix is able to do is they added actions on the server side that you can request data from. For example, you create this function and you await a request.form data. Just like you would do in PHP, you know, you remember those, you know, uh, square brackets and requesting the, you know, params from whatever user submitted in the form data. It, it feels like that thing right here in React on server side without having to do any, any you know, JavaScript state management or whatnot. This is pretty amazing, right? The whole thing works without JavaScript. Remix runs the actions server side and revalidates the data on the client side and even handles race conditions on the, you know, from the resubmissions and whatnot, as you can see here. They also provide uh, hooks like use transition 
for you know creating that fancy looking creating the invoice you just submit it or click that button you know the ui is working and you can i think you can also create more optimistic ui where you can use that same state on the client side and before even you know the server has responded and improve the ui and user experience for you know your users submitting that invoice in that particular form so this is pretty good right HTML forms who knew holy man this is this is amazing so now, now if, I I have to check if I'm on Mac OS or Windows, right? This this looks like Windows. Your website ran into problems, but for the remix, they don't need to be refreshed. Error handling is hard to remember and hard to do. That's what it's why it's built in, right? Remix handles errors while server rendering errors while client rendering errors on the server side as well. Okay, I, I don't have my phone handy right now to check what is behind that QR code, but uh, the UI of this website is pretty freaking cool. And another thing they have is route-based error boundaries. Uh, for example, if this is your invoice route, right? Each route module gets to have an error boundary. So if that, so like for example, if that particular invoices uh, or invoice uh, react component has an error only that particular component gets to display okay this is the error state something bad happened right and i think this is this is pretty cool and if a route has no boundary errors bubble up just put one at the top okay makes sense uh, that's probably it uh, i think you should definitely try out remix play with it like it's open source now it used to be a paid framework and now it's completely open source uh, they have excellent documentation as far as i can see the github repository and a discord server and they help you create a developer block or a jokes app so have fun uh, while uh, checking out remix and with that i'll end this one see you later bye use your code for good